I'm David Westfall. I'm the equity staff person for the Gypsy Robe. Uh, we're here today to talk about Gypsy Robe. Uh, Gypsy Robe is a wonderful company. Uh, we've been around since 1973. <laughs> And it's a ceremony that both acknowledges and celebrates those actors working on chorus contracts in a Broadway musical. <laughs> the first thing I will ask is for all of those actors who are making their Broadway debut tonight to come to the stage. <laughs> We also have some of your um, equity, equity counselors who are actors like you who volunteer their time to make sure that equity works. We have Joanne Boritz. Yeah. And uh, we, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm missing. Okay. I would, now I would like for all of those people who are here who have received the robe in the past, I'm forward. My name is Bill Mabel. I got the robe for Most Happy Fella and Beauty and the Beast. for The Last Ship and uh, The Cats Revival. Yeah. I'm Harvey Evans and I got the robe for Sunset Boulevard, the original, and Oklahoma, not the original. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Aaron Albano, I got the robe for Newsies. I'm Bjarne Buchtrup, I got it for Ari in 1972. Hello, my name is Eugene Somerville, and I received the role for Hairspray. <laughs> my name is Paul Castry, and I got the role for High Fidelity and 9 to 5 and Disaster. <laughs> Jonathan Brody, I got the rope for a Bronx Tale. I'm Roger Preston Smith, and I got it for Peter Pan. Yay! I'm Matt Wall, and I got it for Something Rotten and the revivals of Promises, Promises, Evita, and Sunset Boulevard. Yay! So here we go. The Gypsy Robe tradition began in 1950 when Bill Bradley, a chorus dancer in Gentlemen Preferred Blondes, asked Florence Baum, a chorus girl, for her dressing gown. Bill then sent it over to Arthur Partington, a chorus dancer at the Imperial Theater, where Call Me Madam was opening that night with a note proclaiming the robe had been worn by all the Ziegfeld beauties and would bless their show. A cabbage rose from one of Ethel Merman's gowns was attached to the robe by Arthur, and it was sent on to the opening of the next chorus musical, Guys and Dolls. The gypsy robe is awarded to a member of the chorus who has the most Broadway musical chorus credits. The honored gypsy puts on the robe, circles the stage three times counterclockwise, and everyone touches the robe. The gypsy, still wearing the robe, then visits all the dressing rooms, and the show is blessed. Yeah. to present the Gypsy Robe for Sunday in the Park with George to Marianne <laughs> Keith.
all good. Twenty-third, Marianne will pass the road on to Sunset Boulevard. No, no, no. 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 Uh, no. Uh, uh, Miss Sangar. <laughs>